Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea 1 Complete. This is the New Game Plus Extras mode thingy that we're doing. And this episode's going to be a bit weird. It's going to be some clips basically thrown in. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go, and this is going to be all one, one go. I'm going to go, and we're going to go see what's inside of Ball's Castle and inside of Beauty Castle and inside of the Cave of Ordeal's final thing. Now that we've cleared out all of those things. Also, we'll probably visit the alternate netherworld as well. And just see if there's anything extra cool there and hanging out and doing some stuff. Additionally, on top of that, I'm going to play through and get to the bottom of my level, uh, my Rarity 0, Rank 40 Robo Suit. And we're going to go from level 1 to, well, it's like level 10 to level 100. And we're going to see if we can't unlock a hyperdrive by doing it that way. And then after that, I think we should still have some time. If we do, fantastic. If not, I'll probably just still add it on. But we're going to play through and we're going to get all the way to the bottom of our Yashitsuna. And see if that is the way of the world. So the Yoshitsuna is a rarity zero. We're going to go from level zero to 101 sitting and see how it all plays out. So hopefully you guys are on board for that. You're okay with that and everything else. I'm not going to play through the level one to 100. It's just going to pop in at the end of both of the Robo Suit and the Yoshitsuna. So you guys won't have to sit through all the item world grinding. And that's why it's going to be in clips, because I'm going to do a lot of that stuff off camera. Anyway, after that, I think we're going to start doing some of the finishing up of the different endings of the game. And we'll probably return to Etna mode. I'll show off a couple more, or another level up area. And yeah, we'll, we'll see where it all goes from there. Anyway, let's get this underway. So I think we'll start with the top. We'll go with the alternate netherworld, see if there's anything cool there. So we're going to go to the final area where the warrior maiden air was and see if there's anything special or cool about this place and it does not look like it, it looks like there's some divine Majin and Lily and a Jan doing stuff infernal axe and a Fenrir so level 38 weapons rank 38 weapons I should say we should be able to annihilate them pretty quickly um, all right so let's go here and see what's going down I think they're going down, and indeed they are. I'll hop up here with Kalark, and I think he probably has enough oomph to take you down. And of course we're going to go with Slade, I suppose. I could go with Bumpy, I'm going to go with Slade, and we're going to Night Sever you and take you down. Alright, so there we have it. That's not too bad. So nothing really fancy there. All right, next up, the Cave of Ordeal. This is a place where you will level very, very, very rapidly. Guys and gals, the Demon Hall Mirror, after you manage to defeat Rosalind and Adele, come back here, and this is the Bee's Knees. This is the ideal place to level until you go to Etna mode again. So level 350, you would want to rank them up as high as you can, strongest enemies, and that would put them around, I think it's 1,650 is their level. And they're on 100 plus 100 experience, so double the benefit. Now, I'm not gonna just one shot this like I could. I'm gonna actually utilize some of my other people, which I think that's the right spot for Laharl. And we're gonna try getting a little bit of a. Uh, nope, it needs to be one step further. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of extra out of this since we're here and we're showing this off, and it's low level. Alright, so we're going to move up. We still need to dive deep into his weapon. We haven't done that yet, either. Alright, so there's a big chunk. We got a few levels out of that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead... Nope. We're going to go ahead with... Slade's fine. And we're going to go back up and we're going to get Etna. And hopefully Etna's strong enough to finish up the remaining four. And we will use our Spear Storm. And it was not. It was not enough. Our spear is not strong enough. So we have a few others that we could still utilize, and we will. I don't know that Katie has the strength to do anything to these guys, but I assume she can probably do something. I mean, she's got a... Alright, pretty small amount of attack power, honestly. 
is not going to go well, I imagine. Nope. Well, I mean, Antros can just clean up if you really wanted to. You know what? I think we will. Let's go with the Lion's Roar. That's fine. We gave a few people some chances. We got a little bit of leveling up on Laharl, but uh, people are a bit underwhelming. We have good gear on some people, but not good gear on all people. All right, moving right along, we'll go to Ball's Castle. Sure, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch my order, though. That's slightly annoying me. When I'm specifically leveling up somebody, I usually put them at the top, with switching with Laharl, and then I put them back later. I didn't do that, because I'm bad at doing things I'm supposed to. Well, let's go to Beauty Castle first, then we'll go to Ball Castle. All right, this is where you farm up your high rank, um, I forgot what the heck this thing's called, your Amano Hahakiri. So you basically come back, you either come here and you clear this out, or you come here and then you reload the game over and over and over until you see a epic version of that. And if you're wondering what the epic version of that looks like, it is just like this. So you can see how the coloration is different. You can see at a glance. If it's a pink one, that means it's going to be a rare, it's a, it's a rarity, a rare one, sorry. And if it's a gold one, it's a legendary so if it's this bluish color with the little green handle and all that stuff, that means it's a legendary. So that is what you're trying to get in order to get the legendary Cosmic Blade. So once you get into this... Oh, that was another thing I wanted to mention, guys and gals. You saw, I believe it was in the last episode, I went all the way through from level 1 to 100 to uh, through the legendary uh, Amano Hahakiri trying to get the Cosmic Blade um, legendary, and it didn't work. And then I... I left on floor 100, and I came back, and it didn't have a Cosmic Blade at all. I did look it up a bit more, and I found more information, which should have been in the original post, but it wasn't. If you are going to try to get the Cosmic Blade, um, the legendary version of that, what you need to do is exit out at level 99 with your Mr. Jensi's exit, save your game, and then go back into the item world, going to item level 100, and... C. If the Cosmic Blade uh, Legendary is not there, you need to exit the game, reload it, and keep doing that until it appears. It is not guaranteed to happen every single time, which I thought it was. So, I made a mistake. I had to go and find a new one of these Legendary weapons. I had to play all the way through again to level 100, and save at 99, and then go into level 100 repeatedly. It took me about 6 or 7 tries before it popped up with the legendary. Could be more, could be less for you guys. So, just stuff to think about, just stuff to be aware of. So hopefully you guys don't make the same mistakes I did. I'm trying to be as informative in the late game stuff as I can. There's still stuff I don't quite understand. Calculations I can't make because I'm just not that great at the game. So just be aware, just be aware ladies and gents. I'm trying to give you as much info as I myself can get to make your life as easy as possible if you decide you want to go play to the end game as well. Alright, so there you go. That's what that was all about. And Ball Castle. And the Lord of Terror, We, I guess we could try fighting Ball again. This is where we got our Super Robo Suit at the... <clears throat> really? So we got our Super Robo Suit at the beginning. Oh, he's now a printy. Of course he is. That's fantastic. Ooh, a Nemesis Mark II in a printy costume. <gasps> what? I want those right now. Where are you? Where are you, my thief? That is the most amazing thing I've ever witnessed in my life. Uh, he's got a so oh, some attack. Um. Yeah, so he's got a printy costume, which is. Fantastic. Maybe it's a really good item, I think. I, I don't know. Uh, let's find out. So we got a pretty costume. What does that do? It's there. Look at it. It's so cute. It's so cool. Oh boy, that gives you a billion defense, basically. A whole bunch of HP, a lot of resistance, and absolute garbage when it comes to attack. I would say that maybe put that on a spellcaster, if I'm being honest. And I think I'm going to, actually. Maybe I'll put that on Tamlin. I would say more of a healer than a spellcaster, necessarily. Let's see if, let's see if that's 
a thing that you could do. I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's bad. It's super defensive. Yeah, it'll easily replace that. A pretty costume. Cool. We just lose a little bit of SP, but I guess that's not that big of a deal. It's only 99 SP, and we get a lot more resistance and way more defense. That's pretty sick. I like that. Okay. Uh, back to murdering people. We're going to go with Kalark off to the left side. I'm so, I'm so stoked. I can't believe we just got a printy costume. That's so cool. I was off to that side and bumpy right down the middle. Alright, and we're going to do the same thing we did before with Star. And we are going to Braveheart it up. And we're going to do the same thing with Tamlin. On this side, we're going to shield it up. Hold on. We're not, we're not done yet. Let's uh, go ahead and get our Night Severs in here. I don't know that we can kill the Printy Ball. Maybe? Maybe we can? I don't know. Pretty excited to find out. That's hilarious. Level 6,000 printy. Oh god, we did zero damage. Okay, well, we're a little underpowered at 220,000, 321,000. Is that 1,063,000? It is. And what else we got here? Um, 334,000. Okay. Oh god, her HP went through the roof. Okay. Maybe, just maybe we're going to need prayer as well. Throw her heal right now there. Did not do it. How much health did she gain from the pretty thingy? I don't know. I'm, I'm very curious. Put her up to 121,000, so... I mean, that's pretty substantial. Alright, let's see. Oh, God! Oh. Oh, God, that was, uh... Uh, the pretty ball may be stronger than we uh, anticipated. And by maybe, I mean is 100% stronger than we anticipated. Uh, okay. Not expected. Not expected at all. Well, I'm going to hope that we survive. Um, I'm going to take a quick peek here. Oh, it gives us 45 thousand HP extra. I feel like it does more than that. But what do I, what do, what do I know? I, I don't, oh my god. That was so much damage. Did you see how much damage that thing did to us? That's kind of crazy. All right. I really didn't think the pretty ball would be that difficult. My goodness. I had heard tale of this. I've heard tell that this thing existed. I did not know whether or not to believe it, but uh, yeah, it looks uh, quite horrifying. Alright, well, I mean, do I even have what it takes to hit that thing anymore? Dimension slash, night sever, night sever. Alright, a heal, some, some brave heart. Oh, we got enough to hit him there. 163. 1.2 million. I mean, I think we can kill him. I'm dead. Oh, what? Okay, um... Nope, that didn't work. Okay, well, we can't kill him yet. Surprise, surprise. And trust me, I'm... I'm surprised. Okay. I, uh, he leveled up too for killing us. That's funny. Okay, well that did not go according to plan, ladies and gentlemen. I have to say I'm kind of shocked that that went down the way that it did. And he's going to murder us all. Did I steal his weapon? I did not. Maybe that would be the key to it. I think we'll, we'll try this again and we'll see. I don't know that it's going to do enough, but I'm willing to try again. Hopefully you guys are on board with that. Oh, well, that was 
Unexpected. Absolutely unexpected. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna put Arzla behind you. I'm gonna put Slade off to the left. Use, I mean, uh, that was that was some crazy sauce there. For any costumes been stolen, okay. Like I don't I don't even know what to think of this. Like he can just wipe us in one shot at any point. That's kind of horrifying if you think about it. I mean, he just kind of played with us a little bit there by giving us a single tap upside the head. And being like, yeah, you shouldn't be here. You're not strong enough. You can't handle me right now. And we're like, eh, it's probably fine. Just have to survive a couple more hits. It'll be... And then everybody dies. So we'll see. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it, a, we'll give it our best go here. I mean, if he doesn't do an AoE, like, three times, we can finish him. Be four times. Okay. Oh, I can't even steal the weapon now. Well, that sucks. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but that's, that's fine for now. We may end up having to come back to this one, guys and gals. The pretty ball might be too strong. But, I, like I said, I'll give it the old college try uh, if, you, if you catch my meaning here. I.e., we're going to die a horrible death. It's going to look really, 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 really bad and foolish. But we're going to give it our best. Give it our best. I am absolutely horrified of what this thing is going to do to us. It is not looking good. I would really prefer that he would have attacked literally anyone else. Except for Arzla. I guess she would have been the, the worst person to have attacked. Alright. We did some damage there. Pretty bomb, we're all dead. Yep, there's no way. There's absolutely no way we can survive against him right now. Okay, so we'll have to come back and fight him at a later... Come back and fight him at a later date, probably? try something that I haven't tried yet. I don't think it'll work. Would be very stupid if it does work. Yeah. I figured he wouldn't just blow up. It would have been funny. Like, oh, he's so strong. Oh, right. We can just throw him. That's that's totally fine. So we'll let him defeat us again. Anyway, we're going to go hop into our item world and go see about the robo suit and the hyperdrive and all that stuff. And then into the Yoshitsuna. And that'll do it for our episode. But we'll let the pretty ball kill us. And it looks like that will be something to work toward in our next episode. Or perhaps, perhaps, we will see an ending or two of the game. And then we'll hop into Etna mode. We'll level up a bit more. We'll come back at 9,999. And we'll whoop his booty. That's, that's a possibility too. I don't know. Either way, I'm pretty excited. And it's nice to see there's something that still has some teeth. So we have the pretty ball to still a battle and fight. We have... Uh, Zeta, Zeta, that we still need to go and uh, defeat. So there's still a few things to do, guys and gals. And the return to Edna mode and all that stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in uh, the Robo Suit in just a bit. Hey guys and gals, I'm just doing some quick grinding through the item world. We're on item level 100 of my Super Robo Suit that you guys saw me acquire. I don't remember when specifically, but we got it. And, yeah, we're about to go and do some uh, damage. I believe it's when I killed Ball we got it. So we got our Rarity Zero uh, Robo Suit. I've played through. This is the last level of the item world. We're about to kill the item god and finish this up. We'll have to do a little bit more killing. But I figured I'd throw this in with it. We're going to see whether or not it unlocks the hyperdrive. So what I've been told was back in the day on the PS2, you could actually go through any item world that was a rank 40 item get to the very end of it, however you had to do it, and you would actually get a hyperdrive unlocked. If you wanted additional hyperdrives, you would have to go into the hyperdrive that you had, and I'll explain what the hyperdrive is in a second, and then you would have to go and get all the way through that in one shot. So from level 0 or 1 to 100, get through it in one sitting and steal or whatever the case was, and you would get another hyperdrive essentially. Well, that's apparently changed from the PS2 version of the game. 
and all subsequent versions, you can only get one hyperdrive. And you do have to do this uh, from level 1 to, to 100 without leaving. It's hard to say. So from level 1 to 100 without leaving in an item world on a rank 40 item, if you do achieve that, you should automatically get a hyperdrive put into your inventory at the end of it. So we're going to see which way is true if with uh, Sky 1 complete, it's the way of the PS2, or if it's the way of, well, all subsequent ones. So we're fighting this guy, he had 10 million HP, and now he doesn't. He's dead. And I just want to point out also, we are in the robo suit, but I was able to steal a robo suit from this guy. And I can't show you right now, but it's also a rarity zero. So we have two really, 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 really good robo suits. Now I eventually will play through this again and unlock this item level, or this rarity zero legendary robo suit. So, I've also done all the stuff that I had to do for leveling up and arms mastery. Now we have over 1,900 on the robo suit that we're inside right now. And I have the 600 plus another 450 for the experience gains. So, everything is pretty much maxed out with what we can actually accomplish at this point, which is good. Which is good. So, leveling up and pretty much everything should be significantly easier at this point. Right, they seem to have been trapped. We're going to untrap them now. They're going to come and attack us. They're going to suffer for their transgression. But we're going to see right now, right here, whether or not we achieve what we were hoping to achieve. Do we get the hyperdrive or not? And we get to see the last two levels pop in. There it is. And it doesn't look like I got a hyperdrive. Let's see, it should be in the inventory if I got it. I do not have it. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, apparently, you have to go from level 1 to 100 in order to get that. I think it'll either be in this episode, if I decide to do it now, or what. Basically, I'm doing different clips of stuff, guys and gals, because a lot of this stuff is going to be grinding off camera. So I think the next episode will probably start with the printy ball getting killed, which should have already happened in this episode. And then this, and then probably me finishing the the Yoshitsuna uh, level 100, 0 to 100 in one run, and getting the hyperdrive and the top level uh, rarity 0 Yoshitsuna, and possibly stealing another one. I don't know. Lots of cool stuff, guys and gals. And I think at that point, we'll pretty much be done with most of the game. There's just a few little things left to, to do, little odds and ends. So anyway, I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, and here we are about to go into level 100 of the Yashitsuna Rarity Zero Legendary Item in one go. And let's do this. <sighs> Take a while. It took a little while. It took some time. Alright, and here we are. There's another Yashitsuna steal right there. And anything else I'm curious about? Let's find out. Oh, it's an item god too. Okay, I'm not sure what an item got two is, but fun times. Do we have an item god one? No? Okay. Alright, we're gonna go steal the, the Yoshitsuna from Wolf. Uh, what are we looking at? Okay, nothing's actually active right now. That's a good sign. And as you can see, the dude's got nearly 10 million health again. So it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a little bit of a little bit of work to get through him, but we we gonna try we gonna try and get through it. All right, uh, can I steal with this? I can. That is fantastic. All right, so we're going to take his uh, Yoshitsuna and be all like, "Thank you, sir, for your patronage," and he'd be like, "Well, not fair. You stole my weapon." I'm like, "Yes, yes, I did." All right, Bumpy's been a little underwhelming because he's been using a lame cosmic blade that's not upgraded. So it's time to get him a little bit of a love here. And he's going to take the Yoshitsuna. Oh, it's a rarity too. Ah, I'll take it. It's not as good as the rarity zero, the one that we're in right now, but it's still pretty darn good. So I will definitely uh, consume that. And by consume, I mean use it. And here's hoping that we survive the horrible onslaught that's about to ensue upon us because I don't know exactly what the enemy is going to bring to bear against us. 
I I would have to imagine it's not going to be fantastic or great for us. So I'm going to try to pick off all the weak sick ones before I go after the main big bad. Um, which could prove to be interesting. Depending on whether that negates his ability to attack with the Yoshitsuna remains to be seen. I should be able to drop the other one I did. We did a decent amount of damage there as well. And it's really going to come down to the three that we have. Oh no, I can't reach. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, well we're going to go after the dragon then, I guess. Knight Sever, why not? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's all that I dare bring into the fray, and I don't think it's gonna go well. Yep, that didn't feel good. Yeah. Thankfully, yeah. oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh no, she's sleeping. That's that's bad. Okay. Hmm. Well, we're about to kill somebody off. I uh, I think it's gonna be Sage. Sage is gonna die a horrible death, and uh, well, I'm not actually okay with this. It's kind of what we have to deal with here. Okay. And as much as I don't like to rely on our extra peeps, her heal is just so much more powerful than all of my other heals combined. So she's gonna throw out a little bit of healing love, which again isn't all that much. But it's, it's a thing that is happening, so... Take from that what you will. I'm going to scoot you away, and I'm going to actually try to remove the other two in one shot here. And I did. Okay, ooh, having a little bit of lag spikes here and stuff. That's never a good sign. Alright, Knight Sever should be enough to put you down. It is. I'll step over here. And if I'm not wrong, it's just the boss Captain Wolf left here. So, we're going to have to try and take him out, and I have absolutely no earthly idea if that's even conceivably possible at this point. Um, I feel like it might be, but I also feel like it might not be. So that's a thing that's going to be happening here. Um, I think uh, for a limited time only, we will use Adele, and we will use... Maybe That's kind of a, a holding spot. I think I might even back you up a little bit. We're gonna use all of them as just ba oops, as just basic uh, holding points now. I know they're not anywhere near strong enough to do the things that I would like them to be able to do. But right now we need a little bit of time to to have some recovery here and get some healing out. So we're gonna hope that we can actually accomplish this. Like, that's so much weaker than I would like. Um, not sure I want to do anything in particular. Oh, she has an Omega Heal as well. Really? Well, I find that to be interesting. I didn't know she had that. Okay, that was cool. I guess we can go with Terra Star. Well, he's he's got fire problems. Let's go with Terra Fire. I know it's not the the greatest thing, but it's it's a little bit of damage we're putting on him. What do you have? Soaring Fire and Vulcan Blaze. We'll perish in Flames of Justice. That didn't do anything at all. I think I have an item or two I can even eat. I kept some stuff. Well, I have 20,000. Might as well. Have a Sunday while we're out here. Alright, let's see what horrible thing's gonna happen. Oh, that's it? Oh, pfft. That's nothing. Okay. Alright, we're gonna step you over here. You have, you have done your job well. I'm gonna move you out of the way as well. 
Hmm, before I do that, let's make sure that you can actually still throw your heal. So yeah, I'm going to double down on you guys. I'm going to move you out of the way. Let me get you up here. Okay, so he's surrounded by our, our fabulous four, our super strong individuals. And we're hoping for the best here. Um, special Omega Heal once more. Well, I mean, we could just do it this way, right? Yeah. And... I suppose we could put Sage away, or whoever that was. Put Tamlin there. I think Tamlin can probably throw out her shield. Which is going to be pretty nice. And we're going to bring out Star. Star, once again, is going to increase the attack power of everyone who is trying to murder, death, kill. And I think it's going to be okay. Oh, out of range, really. That's fine. Alright, so we need to start attacking. It looks like I am going to be first up on the attack list. Because I am amongst the weakest that we have. Knight. Here, Knight Sever again. And then, of course, our big, bad okay, Mamma Jamma. Good old Arzla. There. Gonna wreck a few fools. Alright. Alright, big hit, big hit, bigger hit, biggest hit. He's having a bad day, guys and gals. He's having a bad day. Oh, here we go. Here comes the Chain of Doom. It's, it's fine. Not even a big deal at all, to be honest. Alright. Braveheart. And I think we just keep laying into him, really. I don't, I don't think we need to change anything up at all. So let's, uh, let's do that thing that we do. Where we kill the fool. Because we can. I mean, he's gonna lose almost all of his health here. He should die in the next go. Alright, your last chance at redemption. Nope, no redemption for you, friend. Well, we should be doing two things here. So we got another Yashitsuna, Rarity 2, which is great. And we're going to be getting the Hyperdrive as well. Unless things are completely wrong and are nice somehow screwed something up, which I don't believe I did. I was very careful, very, very, very persnickety with everything I did. I never left, I went in from beginning to end, so this should unlock the hyperdrive, which is a fantastic item, which basically gives me 99 movement and 99 jump, and I believe it allows me to phase through units, so no obstacle will be out of reach at this point. It's going to be a pretty good thing, I would have to say. Alright, we're going to execute, and we are going to say good day, sir. We got the hyperdrive. There it is. We have achieved total victory. And enjoy the obnoxious sounds of the level ups, guys. No. I better no. Still no good. All right, whoa, when it jumps up to 100, it, it like, doubled the, the damage there. Like, at 99, it was, like, 3,400 or 3,100 or something, and then or 31,000. And then, bloop, up to the, the max. All right. So, we did it. We defeated the item general, we defeated the item king, and we defeated the item god, too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this little uh, episode of A Lot of Chaos and Doom. I did record a bunch of stuff in kind of weird orders. This is the last thing that I recorded. I actually recorded the hyperdrive attempt before first, and then I recorded the battle with the printy ball and all the other stuff second. So it's all out of order, but it's fine. It's a weird episode. Just enjoy it. We got to see a bunch of stuff. And in the next episode, we'll get to see hopefully a little bit more. I think we're going to actually finish up some endings. We're going to throw an ending in here and there, so... 
Like I said, by the time we're done with this series, Disgaea 1 Complete should be completely done. Includes starting with Disgaea 1 PC, or Disgaea PC as it were, and playing through the main campaign, playing Etna Mode on uh, Disgaea 1 Complete, and all the extras here as well. Anyway, we'll have somebody up to level 9,999 by the end of it as well. And yeah, we have a lot of the really cool endgame stuff already coming our way, so let's go check out this hyperdrive. Uh, where did it end up at? There it is. So there's the hyperdrive. It's a rarity. I don't really care about the rarity. It's not so much that the item itself is fantastic with stats or anything. It's what it allows you to do. Blazing speed. Where do you attach it, though? So, like I said, essentially it turns our movement into 9, or 99 and our jump into 99. So let's go ahead and equip it on Arzla, if I can find her. There she is. And we're going to basically get rid of the accelerator. And we're going to attach that. So right now, with the accelerator, we have 16 movement, and we actually have 99 jump. I guess that maybe has something to do with the Super Robo Suit. But, now we have 99 movement and 99 jump. So we can pretty much go anywhere with her, and she is the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. The real deal. Alright, let's take a quick look. 34,900, 53,000 basically across the board. And then with the Cosmic Blade, it's just absurdly better. It's ridiculously better. Okay, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're feeling pretty good. It is a sword of unparalleled strength, and now she is hitting for over... Her attack is over 1 million. It's over 1.5 million. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a big deal. So, really, we're, we're feeling pretty good. She's got two Rarity Zero items at level 100. And we have a third rarity zero item that we're going to eventually level up just to make her even more powerful. And I dare say, once we do that, despite anything else that we do, we're probably going to be good enough to face off against the pretty ball by herself? Maybe? I don't know. It did a lot of damage, so I can't guarantee that. But she's come a long way since those days. And, well, we still have, I'm sure, a long way to go. Anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. Again, I started to ramble on there at the end, but uh, pretty happy. We've accomplished a lot, and we're getting closer and closer to eventually saying we've done all that we can do, or at least a vast majority of what we can do. And, yeah, we'll move on to Disgaea 5. Complete in, like, it's full, like, that's going to be our one of our main focuses on the channel. So, yeah. Until the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.